so step one is I have to numb my whole face with this numbing cream. I'm in the bathroom, they sent me here to do that. So I'm gonna put that on and then check it. Okay, I'm a little worried because my horoscope said not to do any beauty treatments this month, including Botox, but um, here we go. I'm just gonna wipe your face with an optimal wipe. I'm just making sure all the numbing is off. My whole face is numb. I got on my <laughs> lips too. Oh, did you? The lip is usually the one to get the most numb for me. So it's kind of like micro needling except with lasers. Yeah, exactly. And then the light obviously helps stimulate the collagen. And so um, after your treatments, you'll have some almost shedding of the skin, but not so dramatically, because it's just a fractional laser. And after that, you should feel like a smooth, a smoother skin. Um, compared to the hair removal, what's the pain level you like? <laughs> um, <laughs> it can be. I don't yeah. think the low level is um, as painful. I have a high tolerance. Oh, good, you know. okay. <laughs> Start right here. So we're gonna do four passes. Feels like a cat claw. Oh yeah? It feels more like a like a razor blade. <laughs> Not like that though. <laughs> Right cheek feels like I was in the sun too long already. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's gonna look like that too. Yeah, I'm gonna put some vitamin C serum on. Yeah. Pull the area and also help reduce that collagen. Yeah. I would say it hurts more than doing the derma roller at home. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit more intense. Yeah. So in a few days. So in like two to three days, um, you should see that your skin is kind of dry, um, and you might see like some black dots on your skin, um, but don't scrub that off. Vitamin C is fine? Yeah, vitamin C, yeah, yeah okay. it's definitely fine. Oils? Yeah, oh, yeah, you can use anything that you, because right now your skin's susceptible, and yeah. um, anything you want to penetrate um, deeper. Yeah, deeper. You so hyaluronic acid, plus moisture. Yes. yes. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Of course. <laughs> so it's been about four and a half hours since I had the clear and brilliant laser facial. And my skin is a little bit pink. I do have a little bit of that tinted sunscreen on still. Um, I just started feeling more cool. Like, I felt like I had been out in the sun too long for several hours. It was kind of just a little bit irritated, like I was, like I had, you know, a little, a mild sunburn. But that's my only side effect so far, and it was kind of a cool experience. So we'll see how we are in a couple of days. Okay, it's been several days since my laser facial treatment, and it's true. Your face gets a little bit sandpapery for the next, like, three days afterward, but I'm on like day five now and my skin feels almost entirely refreshed and smooth and dare I say, clear and brilliant. It's more clear, I haven't had a single breakout, the little bumps on my chin have been diminished, and I just think overall my skin is looking really bright now and I'm not wearing any makeup, this is like fresh out of bed, no, I didn't even wash my face this morning so yet, so like this is it. And I definitely would get the Clear and Brilliant laser again or some sort of laser treatment. Although this was like a little bit painful, you get over it right away. And I think I might want something a little stronger next time to like really get in there and get some of the little discoloration. But I know that you're supposed to do like two to four treatments of the Clear and Brilliant laser. So maybe I'll sign up for more. We'll see. But I really liked it and I'm definitely intrigued to... Uh, 
explore the world of lasers more. So, you know, I'll put all the information about Clear and Brilliant below and you can make your own decision if it's something you want to look into.